got these. That's all you need. No. Turn the dial. Turn it on wash. <laughs> Ooh. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm in Best Buy looking at appliances. I was supposed to go get my hair cut today, but my appointment got canceled. But I was already with my mom because she was going to help me film my haircut. So we decided to come uh, house shopping instead. I am in here because I need to get a fridge and a washer and dryer. Those are the only two appliances I need. Everything else is included in the house. And then we're also going to go look at some other stuff for the house as well. So today is just like a house shopping day. Every time I say I'm here with my mom, you're like. <laughs> well, cause I'm not expecting you to turn the camera You know I say that every time. <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you. It's only polite. <laughs> Let's redo that. I'm here with my mom. <laughs> do you like side by sides like this all the way down like what you had? Or do you like the bottom? Would you be interested in the bottom freezer like what I have? Mm. My freezer is always full and sometimes it's like overflowing and I'm having trouble like fitting stuff because the fridge I have in my apartment right now is like it's probably like this one. The size is pretty much like this. Mm -hmm. And it's the side by side. Except the thing with mine is that the ice maker takes up this whole space right here because it's not on the door. Mm -hmm. So I only have this much space to actually store stuff and it's like chock full. Mm -hmm. And my fridge is like half empty on the fridge side. Right. So you don't need a whole lot of refrigerator space. You like a lot of freezer space. I will tell you that um, the bottom free freezer is not as convenient to access your stuff. The reason why the top freezer, the, why I like this is because I do a lot of cooking and food preparation and this is so wide it can take like a wide platter or a wide pan versus just the narrow part in the side by side. And then the freezer is a lot harder to like organize stuff into. So all of these are counter depth. And that's what you're looking for because you don't want it to stick out as far. And you can kind of see how these over here are sticking, how much they're sticking out. And that's about how it's going to look in your space. They'll tell you 22 cubic feet in, in the refrigerator. And this one, 20 cubic feet. So they look all the same, but actually there's two more feet of usable space in that one. This one is nice. This is about the marinating drawer. No, I don't think this is a marinating drawer. This is a marinating drawer. You put your meat in there to marinate. I don't think that's safe, but <laughs> I was gonna very say just cool. Put stuff directly in. I yeah, mean, what's the point? So. But these little trays are. This is pretty cool. Whoa! So honestly, this is the fridge I would recommend you, mainly because it's a KitchenAid. I like KitchenAid. Their service is really good. So you want to do ice on the door, right? Ice and water on the door? Yeah. <laughs> this is more similar to what you have. Um, yeah. You like it? I like the glass. What, what I look for in a fridge is convenience. Like, does it have enough spots for my stuff? And also, is it easy to clean? Because are these the only? Uh, look like it's missing some, some uh, like shelves. I don't know if it comes like that, or they're just really missing but one. If it's easy to clean, when these come out like this, you can clean all this very easily. All this stuff slides out easily. Slides out easy to um, rearrange. And and uh, you can make hot water come out of here. No. <laughs> Why does it say temperature? Well. It's like how cold do you want it? Do you want it room temperature or oh, cold? I was gonna say. I mean, it has a nice fancy digital ice now and this, water thingy. What's different from ours is this has two places to put your cups, and I'm not really sure what that's for. One of them's water and one of them's ice. Hmm. I guess. Water and ice are the same one. So it's 22. It, if you look underneath, it's like a little spout and then like a bigger thing for the ice. So it's 22.7 cubic feet, which is plenty big enough. And here's the freezer side. And like I said, this gives me more freezer space than what I currently have since the ice is on the door. Mm -hmm. So it gives me this whole extra, like, I think it's like maybe even two shelves worth of space. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and I just like the way that this can be organized a lot better. Mm -hmm. I feel like these ones with the bottom freezers, they look newer, they look fancier, they look like, like, oh, if you're getting a nice fridge, you're gonna get one that's like this. But I just honestly feel like the standard side by side is gonna work better for me. I don't know why these like just look cuter. <laughs> I guess it's cause it's like something new and different compared to traditional what you normally see. So the next thing you need to do is take a picture of this so that you can price compare. Uh, typically I found the best prices for appliances are at um, Home Depot or Lowe's. My favorite thing, shopping for appliances. Are you being sarcastic? No. I love like getting stuff ready for a house. Not necessarily the decorating, decorative stuff. In the decorating? <laughs> but like appliances and organizational stuff and like stuff you just need to make the house functional. The <laughs> <laughs> Some of these fridges have like a little extra door where it's like you just open this little part. Grab a beverage real quick and then so it saves energy. I haven't seen one that has like the TV on the outside. Mm, maybe they thought that wasn't a great idea. <laughs> Do you have room for like a wine fridge? No. In Where your house? And you know. You have to have a place carved out for it. You could just remove a cabinet or so. I don't drink wine like that. But so. I do. Grammy needs to get her own wine fridge for her own house. <laughs> Brandy? Grammy. Oh, it's like, who's Brandy? What about this one? The price is right. I mean, you could get something like that to put in your laundry room. Oh, these are one of the same. <gasps> Ooh. It's Samsung. Ooh. So you can like put your calendar. Manage your home and your life with the Family Hub's Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen. The Family Hub's built-in intelligent assistant Check the weather. responds to voice commands and gives you a personalized overview of the day's calendar events, weather, and more. Wow. Everything stays more connected. You can also control and monitor your smart devices and appliances from the Family Hub. Now that freezer would be a lot easier to this navigate. Is kind of cool. I, li I like the way that this is set up. Now that one looks better because it's got handles on it. Oh, you got your apps on here? Pinterest? What is this knock twice and see inside? What does that mean? <gasps> Ooh. Hello. That's kind of cool. Hello. But when would you ever want to see inside but not open it? <laughs> what's Let's like what's see the point? If we have enough milk. Wait, was it twice? I can see that we mm. have yeah, I guess if you're making your grocery list. $9,000 for what? Just because it's bigger? It is. doesn't even have any technology. 24 cubic feet. But, I mean, at the end of the day, she is the one that I guess I'm leaning towards, but we're gonna just price compare and make very sure. Simple, very easy. You gonna very keep cutting me off? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is pretty much all I need. I don't really need a screen. I don't need the extra doors. I don't need all that stuff, even though it's cute and cool. I don't need to buy a stove or an oven because it comes with the house. All right, now moving on to washers and dryers. Of course, you have your classic standard affordable options like these white ones, but I am going to be looking for more of the upgraded front loading. Apparently, LG sucks. So, which brand do you like for wash and dryer? Or GE. Whirlpool or GE? They have these stacked. You don't need to have your stack because you have plenty of room. Ours are stacked because they're small. Yeah, mine. The way the room is, the way my laundry room is configured is meant to have them side by side, not stacked. Side side. Do they come in different colors or is it just? Yeah, they'll come in different colors. Sometimes they come in like red or whatever. All these have like all these different digital controls and different. A lot of different buttons. You want to look at the capacity. You want to make sure it's not like a tiny capacity, but 37 cycles? Who needs that? Not these. That's all you need. No. Turn the dial. Turn it on wash. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is special. Well, which one do y'all have? You don't even know. They discontinue them. Like as soon as you buy them. We've had ours for like five years. They discontinue. Is that a warming rack? Oh no, this is part of the thing. 
What is that? I don't know. This is like for a little tiny load. It's a sidekick. You put a little hand washable load in there. Mm -mm. You know what? We need to go to uh, Home Depot because I got a guy there that'll help us. All right, so now we are in Home Depot. Still looking at appliances. My stove is gonna be like this type of stove instead of this type of stove. It don't have a whole lot of stuff like those ovens, $900, $900 and all that, mm -hmm. but it has everything you need. Your bedding, your heavy duty normals, then you got your, uh, your cycle service, your quick wash, you got smart load, and then you choose your second wrist to get the extra dirt out, you need to do so. And then of course, over here, you can put a favorite cycle, and then you got that. So you got everything you need right there. Yeah, the cycle, just right a ba more basic two, two or three people. Uh, but double check, What's I with think these it's new fronts on here. This one comes in white. The other models are available. They can help okay. check it. But yeah, this is nice, because uh, if you plan on being in your house for your house for a long time, so Whirlpool are, are more like uh, is a trusted brand. Yeah. Sorry. Yep. We carry that model and there's plenty in my warehouse and stainless steel or black stainless. Oh, black stainless, stainless steel. Out, black stainless. stainless steel. So we, we got, yeah. It's not a problem. We have. So here in the store we have to scan a barcode here, uh -huh. which is my promotion, ten percent off. So let's see what you have here. So this by there, I'll try to be. Well, I don't know. They got twenty four ninety nine. I don't know. They yeah. might be beating okay, me so, on so, that. So one. see there. Remember, that's not the final price. Okay. Twenty seven seventy six. Twenty four ninety eight. You beat them by a dollar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Beat the same thing. So yeah. Okay. I didn't think but that was a bad. The problem price, is, is that that's an outstanding price. So these prices are like they were if you were buying it on Black Friday. So my mom has a friend who works here. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, she just always comes here to buy appliances and he always helps her and gives her good deals and stuff like that. So we just talked to him and he gave us some info on uh, which ones were the good washer and dryers for the good price. And so we took note of which ones he recommended. And also we compared the price for the refrigerator that was at Best Buy. The price here is like the same exact price. So it doesn't really matter, but since my mom has a friend here, I guess we'll probably buy it from him. <laughs> What's his name? L Lonnie? Lanny? Lonnie. Lonnie. So I pretty much have an idea of what fridge I'm gonna get and I have, I think maybe two or three washer dryer options that I'm gonna do some more research online and see what the reviews look like. And then I'll just place the order and he said that you can um, pick your delivery date pretty much. So I'll just set up the delivery date for obviously after the house is done. And now we are heading to the custom closet showroom for this closet company that I'm thinking about using for my master bedroom closet and also probably for Zaya's closet because I wanna get all the like shelving and the drawers and just have everything like custom built out. All right, so now we are in the closet showroom. <laughs> some examples of some custom closet options. I like the white in terms of the color. Special little compartments. I was surprised that they actually carry like a bunch of extra knob options. Like there's a million different options for the hardware. They actually sell um, all the, what would you call it? Just the hardware and the knobs separately. So I can actually just buy this stuff for the rest of my house too. Like for my kitchen and my bathroom and all this like extra stuff. I could get like, I could even get like matching stuff. Like I kind of just like the simple. Like, Simple black. I thought I might want like um, some of the brass gold stuff somewhere. I'm not too sure about that anymore. If I'm gonna end up using that in any of the rooms in my house, maybe. But like these ones, and, like the I like the matte matte black, just like a simple straight line. These oh, the glass shelves are really cute. This is yeah, what I like. And we're trying to be sure like this. This is one of the silver ones, so it's basically just like a straight line. It's like a display. And also, what I love about this display is that it's adjustable so that if you have a pair of taller shoes or a pair of taller boots, you can move the little uh, shelves up or down. What do you need a tape measure for? This is what I was talking about for the laundry. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something about that. I, I know what you're talking about, and I have something under my, I have something similar, it's not clothes, but it's a laundry basket. The issue there is that when you're getting ready to do laundry, you have to take the, if this comes out, yeah, you can carry it, that's the whole point. 
But if, but sometimes they don't, they're not made like this. It comes out. It does, but it's not as it's not as easy to bring it. The other option for that would be over here, like this. Okay. That's what we have. And um, What's the, the the basket itself is the same type of basket when you when you put it come out right? It just pulls out like that. Like that. It doesn't come out. No, you lift it up, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Why would they make it to where it doesn't come out? You have to take it to the laundry room. Yeah. I just feel like sometimes that that seems really cool and cute, and I've had those. And I have it now. I don't take that basket out. I think because you just learned that it comes out, but the first time you didn't know it came out. <laughs> what I was thinking of, I think this is too deep of a drawer. I don't know if they come in smaller drawers, but like a couple of shallow drawers. Yeah. Yeah, that's, no, that's not it. Where'd they go? But, that's but it's shallow, more like that's the, this size drawer. of a drawer. Right. This, this is the acrylic kind where you mm -hmm. And then we have another kind that's just the velvet separators, I think. Mm -hmm. I think you did, right? Oh, yeah, the iron. Yeah. If I actually ever ironed my clothes. <laughs> That's, that's cool. That would be a useful feature to just like you when you're like picking out your outfit, trying to see. Because I was thinking like, where am I gonna put a full length mirror? I was thinking the same thing. I don't really have a good spot for it. Your ceilings are high enough that if you wanted to, you could do three. Rows. I never figure out how they get the stuff off the top row though. A step stool. Okay, so I know for sure that I want those pretty glass shoe shelves. I'm gonna have like two going on. It's gonna be like, okay, so pretend this is my closet. I'm gonna have something in the middle like this that has drawers. On this side, it's gonna have glass shelves for the shoes. And on this side, same thing. So it's gonna be shoes on either side. That's for my heels. That's for the cute shoes to put on display. In the middle, we have something like this with a countertop and cabinets. And this is where I'm gonna put all of my, like, underwear folded clothes i don't want anything folded to be showing on display like on an open shelf i want all my folded stuff hidden behind a drawer so like the top shelf could be like for jewelry have a little shallow shelf with the jewelry inserts my mom was suggesting getting some of these type of shoe shelves for my other type of shoes so like my sneakers and my slides and my flats all the other shoes yeah, that are not on display on the pretty shelves can be on the other side of my closet on something like this. So yeah, these will be up on the top of my closet, closed off, hide all the clutter. So I made an appointment with the designer here who is actually going to come out to my house and measure everything and help me plan everything. And she actually has a 3D like model thing on her computer where she can like digitally show me what it's going to look like and plan it out and like, switch things around exactly how it's going to fit in my closet. So I made an appointment. We'll be doing that in the next couple of weeks and then I'll make another video of course going into detail and show you guys what we end up doing with my closet. Okay, so I am back from a long day of shopping around for house stuff. I don't know what my hair is doing. It's just progressively getting bigger and crazier. So yeah, I finished shopping around with my mom, went and picked up Zaya from school and now I am home. So after we went to that first closet place that I showed you guys, me and my mom went to go have lunch and then we went to another closet place. So that first First closet place that we went to is actually recommended by my mom because my mom used it for her house when she did her custom closets and I think they're more so just like a local company if I'm not mistaken but the original closet company that I was gonna use is called California closets and they're more of like a well-known national brand or whatever you want to call it and I see a lot of people like on YouTube use them for their closet so that's what I was gonna do and I wanted to go over there to just kind of like compare so we went to the first closet place that my mom has used in the past and then we went and had lunch and then we went to California closet so California closet is definitely more bougie it's like super custom they have a million different finishes and options and glass styles and just all types of fancy shimanshi stuff that they do matte white glossy white, textured white, wood grain white. Like these probably all look like the same thing on camera, but they're actually all different. But they're gonna be a lot more expensive, I already know. So that's why I just kind of wanted to compare the company that my mom used compared to California Closets and just 
kind of get them both to design me a closet and quote me a price and then based on the two different designs and the two different prices then i will choose which company to actually use so that'll be a whole separate ordeal and i'm probably going to make a whole separate video all about actually doing my closet so yeah today obviously i didn't buy anything it was just like window shopping and comparing prices and just stuff like that and that's really all i've been doing this whole time i have not actually purchased a single thing for my house yet at all and when i say a single thing i mean literally i have not purchased a couch a bed a plant a shelf like nothing has been purchased for the new house i've done a lot of looking around as you guys have seen in my vlogs, but I have not ordered or purchased anything. And a lot of stuff that I need to order takes like four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks to actually like order it. So that's why I need to order it now so that it'll be here in time for my move in time. So yeah, that's gonna be my next step is actually purchasing the items that I've been looking at. I think I have a pretty good idea now of exactly what I want, exactly what I need, the sizes, the dimensions, the specs of all the different stuff like the fridge and the washer and dryer and the furniture for my master bedroom and the sofa for the living room and the dining table set and Zaya's bedroom for I mean I literally have to get like so much stuff like I have to get stuff for every room so it's it's a lot so I said on Instagram that I wasn't gonna show you guys any more like updates of the house because I wanted to make you guys wait until it was fully done I'm gonna do like a full like finished house tour but my moving day got pushed out a little bit so we have some time and I wanted to give you guys an update like a little extra update before we do the final tour. One thing that they just started doing is staining the stairs. So you can see the dark color on the stairs now, which I think looks really good with the black iron rods. And these things are not gonna stay like that. They're supposed to slide all the way down and like cover up this. So you can see more over here how it's supposed to look with the little things on the bottom. And we have carpet, like a gray toned carpet all throughout the upstairs. <laughs> Zaya loves her playroom. The playroom is all carpeted. Ceiling fans are installed. Uh, baseboards. They still have to like, you know, finish. They need to put a door right here. So that's not done yet. This is just like a storage room. Originally they had told me that this room was gonna be unfinished, like no walls and no flooring, but they went ahead and finished it. Zaya! <laughs> Turn the light up. No, I need the light on. Yeah. So this is like, I don't know, just extra space. Shelving in here and store. So. so this is Zaya's bathroom. And I think I had already showed you guys her sparkly countertops and the gray cabinets, but now we have all the plumbing fixtures, running water, um, the lighting and everything is in here. This is just like the basic lighting package that I chose for the whole house, but in some of the bathrooms, I wanna change the fixtures and the um, plumbing fixtures to like a matte black, cause I have this kind of matte black theme going on throughout the house, but I think the silver looks okay in her bathroom. This is her room, they've got the carpet down. She's got her, you know, little details, all the doors and door handles. Her closet is empty because I'm gonna do like a custom closet. So obviously they still need to finish off the stairs, the actual top parts and like the stair part's not done, but pretty much this, the railing is pretty much done. Flooring, I mean, I think you guys might have already seen what the main downstairs flooring looks like. Um, and then I have special flooring in here, in the powder room. I did like a fancy tile just as something different. Uh, again, it's just the basic lighting package. I think I'm gonna leave this, but I wanna get maybe like a nice mirror and a different light or something, just to kind of go with the flooring. I'm not sure yet. This is the glam room, which you guys have seen. But now it just looks more finished because we got the fan, got the carpet, it's got the doors and the plugs and everything, the baseboards, and the bathroom is pretty much finished. So this is the glam room bathroom, which eventually this room can be turned into like a guest room or whatever else. So I still wanted to make it like, you know, nice in here and not too like overly girly or anything. 
So I just did like a neutral gray theme with all the tile and then a little sparkle on the countertop. But yeah, we've got all the stuff installed and the closet is over here where they just already installed this little thing because it doesn't need to be like a custom closet with extra shelving or anything. So I just had the basic thing. No, I don't. Wait. That's for the same light. Okay, anyways, laundry room. Something kind of funny about my sink is that they forgot to cut holes in the countertop to put the actual handles for the faucet. So it's just a faucet with no way to turn it on. So obviously, they need to come back and um, cut this out and put the handles for the sink. But other than that, it's pretty much done in here. I have to buy my washer and dryer, as you already saw in this video. So that will be installed over here. And then I want to get my refrigerator to go over there. So like I said earlier, the kitchen comes with the microwave and the oven, and these just got installed. And then I'm gonna buy my fridge, and that's gonna go over there. And then my stove and my vent hood, which they're not quite done yet, but these just got installed the other day as well. I like my stove, it looks very professional. Dishwasher just got installed as well. So all the appliances are installed. I have to buy my fridge and the washer and dryer. Sink, which I think I'm changing. I think I'm gonna change this to matte black. And for my cabinets, I wanna get matte black pulls or knobs or whatever you call it. The light fixture that came with my package is ugly. <laughs> So this is gonna get changed. The fireplace, sneak peek. And I'll show you a little sneak peek of the master bathroom. Show the floor. And that's all I'm gonna show you for now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the master bedroom. Got the carpet. Got the ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. You can see how big it is. I'm very excited. I don't wanna show you guys too much because I'm still gonna do the full finished empty house store when it's finished. It's almost done. So within like the next two months, you guys will see it fully done. And I'm gonna be taking you guys through the whole journey of you know doing the custom closet and how I organize everything and how I unpack everything and all the new furniture that I get and decorating every single room. And I'm just gonna show you guys the whole entire process. It's gonna be a long process. Like it's probably gonna take me at least a year to get everything fully, fully set up and decorated in the house. So stay tuned for a lot more videos. But yeah, that's it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're still excited for these home decor videos, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on all of the home stuff that I'm gonna be posting and like the finished product of all this stuff that I've been talking about. And yeah, that's everything. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.